So here are the definitions of coherence. For a source with a certain spectral density, and here you can see a graph of the spectral density as a function of lambda, which is the wavelength of the source, this source has a central wavelength of lambda zero and a spectral bandwidth of delta lambda. The coherence time is defined as the time difference between the waves for which we will still get interference, whereas the coherence length, it is a property of the source, is defined as the path length difference between the waves for which we will still get interference. And this coherence length is equal to a constant, which is 2 ln 2 over pi and multiplied by n, where n is the refractive index. And this is multiplied by the central wavelength of the source, lambda zero square here, over delta lambda, which actually means that for a source which is closer to white light with a wide delta lambda, with a wide spectral uh, band with it, we will actually get that the coherence length is shorter. So sources with more wavelengths, which has wider spectral band with it, wider delta lambda, has shorter coherence lengths.